All right, I'm just gonna call in um, the only the highest vibrational beings of a minimum of eighth dimension and higher. Okay. It's a seventh dimension and higher. Seventh dimension and higher vibrational beings of the purest of light. Um, the Archangel Collective. Uh, the Senate Masters, Yeshua, Father, Mother, God. Toth, Higher Self. And all the beings in the universe of, of veil removal. Uh, um, what do you mean? The Council of Twelve. So we'll call them Council of Twelve, the Holy Council. I'm I'm calling in uh, Hermes. God, God of Magic, uh, Chris, my crystalline source being, and uh, Merlin, and also the Andromeda beings that I know. All right, I'm just going to set a couple of quick intentions that we're 100% protected, and we basically have all of the light surrounding us at all times. For, to make this successful mission, that nothing can permeate through our energy fields to come back with us, um, and that it's only of the purest light that will be with us, of the highest vibrations, and our higher selves, along with all the collectives. And, and all the, and our dragon friends. Yeah, the dragon collective. Yeah, exactly. Call them the king of dragons. And, Rashta and um, we will we're gonna do this so there's something inside this crystal city I don't know what that um, we gotta activate here and then there's the the crisp it's like a Tears, the tear, the God tear crystal. That's all. That's what what is being explained to me. I don't. I don't know. I've never seen it. Can you show it to me? Mm-hmm. It's like smart light crystal. It's it's source. It's um. It's um. Not like in a solid state. It's in. An energy. It is an energy, but it's a crystal. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Only the holiest may retrieve it. And you're the holiest. You will retrieve it. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Okay. So bringing down source light around us here on ancient shields of protection. Arc, cube Archangel, um, yeah, we'll put on the, the the cubes of protection with the, the light language, the angelic light language protection on it, of the white light of angelic source codes of protection around these shields. And we're going to push out the shields and the cubes out around the earth and around all of our locations. And it's actually forcing everything into hiding. Okay. All right. Are we ready to go? Mm-hmm. Okay. We got the key to this other universe. So it is through intention. We're going to go to the door to the key that we have that we received from our last. I'm feeling the vibration of the key. Hold it into your hand. And we're gonna, just going to go right to the door, the gate. And we're going to unlock it to go into this crystal city. And then as we go through, we're just going to close the door. Now you're making me see it like this, right? Oh, 
that's how you remember it. Okay. All right, with intention, um, it's going to call on our dragons to take us exactly where we need to go here. Okay, I'm seeing like a light, like a light building and like a light, um, there's like a, there's like a rainbow light bridge that goes into this, this crystal that goes into this building. It looks like a palace. Does it, does it look like Superman's palace? <laughs> yeah, let's just go into, um, I'm just going to ask him, just send in a guide. I'm, Guiding you. Okay. The bird collective is here. I'm just going to follow them inside. Some weird beings there. Yeah, it's all energy, like everything's energy here. Um, I'm saying to step inside. This is the control room. Okay. What do we do here? What do we do? All right, let's just put our highest, our lights, our highest aspects and our conscious into as a grid network. There's a network here. What, are, what does it have to do with Earth? Raising vibrations. Okay. So we're going to consciously activate inside of this energy crystal city to activate the grid crystal energy of higher vibrational energy. It's sonic blasting this wave right now. So the, there's like this orange, yellow, blue, purple light is coming through ancient light so this is more of that seventh dimensional light i think what do you think Isaiah. maybe ninth dimensional and ninth dimensional light are we going to get this crystal are we going to have it in our heart chakra how are we going to get this crystal we yeah, ask for the crystal. <clears throat> Bring me the crystal. Oh, that's in my hand. Wow, that is some powerful, powerful light, man. That is tears of God. Um, you should have one as well in your hand. Okay, make a portal for us to go to Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just go through this bluish green portal. We're here, Merlin, the Bird Collective, Archangels. There's all these elementals and fairies and stuff. All right, I'm just going to talk through this crystal for a quick sec. What dimension of light are you? Eighth dimensional? Okay. So the purpose of this veal is to remove the veal is confirming so we're now you want to you want to create this energy fill 
and I'll uh, assist you with that. Yeah, uh, just above Stonehenge, now we're there. In the in space, I'm creating a planet, an energy ball that's the size of a planet. I'm first of all bringing in gold cube source energy into it. So I'm circulating around the energy ball inside it's circulating around and now i'm adding rainbow energy sun rainbow energy and it's weaving and it's dead, doing dead dead fast i'm now calling in the Pradians and the andromeda alien beings that i am friends with and they're sending energy into the energy bulb the size of a planet and it's weaving it's going very very fast and it's creating a new energy i'm also calling in moon energy I'm also calling the Atlantean uh, Ascending Master Energies into this planet of energy ball. It's weaving around, weaving, weaving faster and faster. I'm now calling in, calling in uh, universe energy, calling in universe energy. It's, Weaving around. Have you got anything to cook, to bring in, David? I'm just going to bring in angelic source dragon light and an angelic source light and light language codes, all of the highest of light vibrations, and ancient gold and white light coding. And the King, Dragons, the King of Dragons is, is breathing um, dragon light language codes onto it as well. I'm also bringing in Violet Flare. And also Crystal Energy, Crystal Universe Energy. It's weaving faster, it's creating a new energy. Hold on a second, there's a crystal diamond dragon. Wow. He's shining pure white light into this ball. And he's gritting it, he's gritting the ball. Wow, what a flame. He breathes all the colors of the dragon flame at the same time. He's saying, feel my energy. It's coming into my staff right now. Oh, he's sending it into Gaia. What level of dragon are you? You're here for the highest good of humanity. This is an Earth's creation. 20th dimension, yes, highest of humanity's good, highest of light. This is complex what you're doing, I'm assisting you. You're a little over your head. We're working together as a universal collective to achieve the outcome Remove, removing the veal, clearing the grids, some dense releases, timelines that have just merged. In an instant, it will be cleared like a flash. This is not the flash event, though, is it? No. Okay. All right. I'm ready to go when you are, Phil. When you lay that energy down, I'm going to lay this teardrop of God crystal into it. 
and we'll burst it out. Suggestion, do you want to put this crystal into the middle of Stonehenge? Yeah, I was going to do that as soon as you put this ball. Is this so the, ball the ball is the size of the planet, but the, all the energy is going into Stonehenge. I'm not sure how it works, but that's what I've been told. Okay. And then it, it's going down the ley lines and the pyramid deck where it's actually upgrading Stonehenge. So you, you're sending it in right now? In in five. <laughs> in five seconds? Yeah, are you putting the crystal? It's ready to go. I'm just going to let go of it as soon as you right. send it. Right, I'm sending it in. Like a vortex of energy. Mm. Wow. I'm actually feeling it from here. Lighting it up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to assist all of humanity. Good job. In all timelines. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, more than this This timeline that's going to assist all timelines. Hmm. It's very wavy, like um, it's... It's a new energy. It's completely new. <laughs> It's also waking people up too. Mm -hmm. It's more than just removing the bill. It's actually seeping into the crystalline as well. It's not only going around the planet, it's going inside as well. It's activated all Atlantean grids now as well with all the Lemurian grids the ancient Egypt grids the Anunnaki grids are removed so it's creating like a flow now through it's creating new grids Upgrading all the grids. What was in that crystal? <laughs> Forgiveness of self for all. To remove, to remove the veil of mankind. Yeah. So the energy is also expanding to the star systems and just adding what looks like twinkles of codes as the energy swarms through. It's interesting. Mm. It's, it's giving like a color to space. It's making space look kind of like orange. I'm just gonna ask Asher how it looks up there. Let me show you, he says. Okay. Tune in. All right. Whoa, they're taking all this density it just cleared off the grids 
and they got this um, portal. We're sucking all this density through. It's getting um, transmuted, cleared. This case, like this energy. Okay. Now it looks like the Earth just went crystalline, like um, like white crystalline. He's saying it's temporary. It's um, more like bluish green, purple orange. Easier to see. Easier to say rainbow. He's saying. Hmm. It's like. It's like um, a caterpillar that gets cocooned but with diamond light, like a rainbow diamond light, and it's just wrapped around the Earth's grids and it's transforming. It's crystalline in the grids. Mm -hmm. Energy crystalline. This, um, talking to me right now so I'm starting to say it's like the um, <clears throat> everybody's awakening it's going to assist them because the veal it being removed it's going to allow them to remember a lot faster there's not going to be it's going to be confusing a little bit at the beginning but then it's not going to be like it's it's a little bit better of a process of remembering so that there's less confusion if that makes sense so more confusion in the very brief moments of their awakening, but less confusion. It's going to be less harder to remember. So how long does this like metamorphosis take? Three days. That's interesting. So it's so on the twenty fifth. Okay. Oh, that's why we had to go. See, now it's all related. So you're tuning in, Phil, to you were tuning in to this because we upgraded the grid lines to like mm -hmm. an eight dimensional light to be able to facilitate what we just did now. They're both hand in hand. They they both they both had to happen. So you you tuned into the the the, the rest of the mission, and these and then Toth is doing good work. Tuned in well. Is there anything else that we should know? No more secrets. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you could say that. There's a lot of secrets out there. <laughs> There's only truth, only love. <laughs> no more secrets. That's what he's saying. All right, then. That's it. It's just saying that's it. Mm. Done well. I thought there'd be more. Is there anything we can explore? Can you feel that comet? It's going by. I can feel a comet going. Is there a comet going? I've heard some of that. I'm feeling this energy in. Um. It almost feels like it's like ships. Oh yeah, there's a comet. There are pieces of a comet. Okay. I think it's like um. I think that's it. So what? 
So what, what happens then and once the metamorphosis takes place? I'll remember. Three days, everyone's gonna remember everything. Does that mean short-term memories? This comment, I think, is the one from Jesus times. Hmm. So is the, this event on the, is it gonna happen on the 20th still? So there be a blast of energy. But what we're doing is changing the vibration right now. It's the same we've done a while. Okay then. All right, so I'm just gonna go from Stonehenge and let's go to a point. There's a light beam. Wants to make contact. Who are you? You know, I can see it. I can see beings in the stones at Stonehenge. Johnson. Okay. Ancient ones. Yeah, this is what he's saying. He's saying that um, you left Earth a long time ago. Just wanted to be here, just happy, just wanting to be here. And this is a big moment for for Earth. Where are you from? Crystal source. Okay. Isn't it? to assist also interesting this being just jumped into the grid like a source rainbow of light just jumped into the grid and just was becoming the grid is becoming smart energy now This is like an intelligence, an intelligence energy just jumped into the grid. You know what he's saying? He's saying there will be no more manipulation of the grids. This is going to be intelligent now. Self-clearing. I'm the new, I'm the new. Crystal source, smart energy. You are me, he's saying, you are me, I'm you. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. There's, it is, it just is, it just is a smart energy that an intelligence that has come to the Earth's group. It's, like you say, it's an upgrade. It's interesting. Uh, see that golden light coming around the grids now? Very, very, very bright. The Earth's grids are getting a DNA upgrade. That is different. That is different. It's been a long time, he says. Okay. You're still talking to me? All right. 
We are connected. We are one. You can connect with me anytime. It's like this thing, this intelligence is going to let us know if he needs any assistance. It's just smart and we're one with it. It's um, DNA upgrade for the Earth's grids. It changed color, aren't they? It's amazing. Yeah. Totally did it. All right. Okay. I'm all around the super high charge light right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and I know I'm totally protected, but I'm going to jump back through portal back to my house. Um, is there any, everything is closed. All the doors are closed. All the portals are closed. And then No, nothing came through. I got no attachments. All clear. All right, I'm just gonna wiggle my toes. Open my eyes. Okay, that was interesting. Well, yeah, I, I traveled back through Astra. I don't bother with portals when it's local. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was quite cool. Huh? It's amazing. The grid has intelligence now. It's really interesting. I'd like to see what other people say about that one. Mm. That's totally new. Mm. 